Hello, my dear beautiful scorpions. How are you all doing? This is Shivansh. I welcome you all to my channel 11 Scorp 11 Sync with the Universe 11. All right, and I just landed up saying Scorpio. Yeah, this is a Scorpio reading that I'm doing uh, with the current planetary alignments that we are in right now. Uh, we are going through a lot of major, uh, you know shifts uh, right uh, we have recently got the uh, saturn going direct um, so we are going to soon have saturn going direct and you can see some kind of uh, fluctuation and the light and trust me friends today something very strange happening with me honestly speaking uh, you know i have not been doing tarot card reading uh, for some time now because i have been going through a lot of uh, energy shift with this <clears throat> current planetary alignments lots of ego that i am i'm purging my uh, divine masculine side of uh, like kind of ego that uh, you know acceptance and uh, clearing purging uh, reinventing and i'm really working on those areas and i w i have not been able to do reading for so long and i don't know um, today i have been doing reading for almost three hours now honestly and uh, i am not able to stop it's like that i have this divine nudge and it says that i need to need to you know start with the reading and uh, you know this uh, for scorpios uh, i am uh, just uh, doing going through the reading the way I have been divinely guided okay so if you see all the readings are very different and I'm pulling the cards differently and for Scorpio I don't know why I strongly felt like that I need to introduce this into your reading because um, you see the moment I, I got this um, uh, this um, yantra you know in the reading because what I feel is that uh, Scorpios you really need this energy because my dear beautiful Scorpios, you must have gone through a lot of a uh, lot of upheavals, upside down kind of energy, 360 degree kind of energy, metamorphosis uh, kind of an energy like shift and change, shift and change, shift and change. And uh, we know Scorpios are a sign like they don't really like changes, right? And uh, it has brought to a, you brought you to a place where it has brought you to your knees where it has asked you, you know, the divine has asked you to admit the truth to yourself. This is a, some kind of a truth that you have been fighting with for a long and now uh, you know you have finally come into that power of you know surrendering if you see this it's like the archangel michael is kneeled down right and i'm just following the omen right now okay so please take however it resonates for you because i'm not doing the readings really typically i am just pulling up the energies uh, as per the downloads that i'm getting so uh, let me read this card to you scorpios uh, admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. I appreciate your support in helping my uh, helping me face my feelings with grace and acceptance so that I can be lovingly honest with myself and others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for giving me courage and strength. So uh, you have come to a point, uh, my dear Scorpio, where you actually have uh, accepted uh, certain truths about yourself you know certain truths about yourself which has brought you to the knee to your knees you know looking up to the divine and you know i would not doubt if you are a person who has been praying for about three years four years five years ten years almost for your life but nothing really worked out in your life and Let's see what the other side of the card has to say. Spend more time outside. <clears throat> You really have uh, closed off yourself possibly uh, with the current situation of the lockdown. Um, but I would like to tell you, it says Archangel Michael, spend more time outdoors. Thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature. So my dear beautiful Scorpios, 
Archangel Michael is asking you to please not sit inside your home all the time. Please go out to the nature, you know, embrace a tree, sit under a tree, try to do meditation under a tree, uh, try to walk, um, you know, barefoot on the grass. This is going to bring a lot of healing energies to you and possibly that's the reason I was divinely guided to bring this um, pyramid, this um, organite into your reading because this brings uh, stability into your life, this brings healing energies into your life, you know, uh, all the turmoils, the trauma, the physical pain that you have been going on, you know, after you have come into this deep realization of who you are in your soul level, now that you have, uh, you know, uh, come into that power of understanding uh, your truth, uh, you know, this has taught taken a lot of your energy uh, you know because i can tell you this my dear beautiful scorpios i i am going through so much lately trust me i'm going through so much let, lately that my tears are not stopping and these tears are not of pain it's of so much of kindness and gratitude towards the divine and i am a scorpio son a typical scorpio i'm going through this energy and you know uh, trust me while i'm doing this reading i am sweating like anything my kundalini is rising to its ultimate um uh, form and i am just going through this readings as i'm getting the downloads and uh, if you have typical uh, placements of your uh, of of scorpio in a, in your natal chart like sun moon rising or any any other placement that this is going to uh, you know resonate with you if you have not accepted the truth to yourself then divine is asking you to you know uh, start to accept and admit to who you are come into your divine power you know and when you go through this it will take a lot of your energies and for that you need to go out of your house of your room to the nature only there you know if you uh, stay nearby sea then walk up to sea if you stay nearby a river or waterfall please walk up walk up to nature walk up outside to heal your body heart mind soul okay <clears throat> soon I, i'm also getting a lot of nudges and i decided that okay i will be start uh, doing some exercises now i'll go out because i was not doing it now i'm going to and you see while i was just saying this i saw this uh, card uh, and i would like to pull this card uh, you know <clears throat> the sun uh, straight away i mean what i feel scorpio is that uh, whatever you have been going on for so long, it is coming, uh, you know, it is going to bring you into a power where you are going to be seen by the world as a sun. You are going to live your life uh, as an example for others, like an example for others, you know. You really don't have, have to go to everyone and preach and teach and, you know, uh, try to prove a point, okay. You just be. You just be and people will see that beam coming out of you, all right. You are a ray of hope to mankind, period. You know, I can tell you this because I'm strongly feeling that I am somebody out here, you know, after several rejection, disapproval, demean kind of an energy welcome towards me. Finally, I have come into the power and understanding of who I am. And I realized that I truly don't need approval of anybody from outside you know i have admitted the truth to myself the kind of love affection compassion empathy sympathy um humbleness kindness loyalty that i was expecting from everyone i came into this realization that nobody can actually give me this rather i am the one who is going to give this to others you know and sometimes this kind of energy is very important for your illumination, you know, for your soul evolution. Because half of the time we give our power to others, right? We give our power to others, you know. 
and when i say this the the light app actually fluctuated and if you can if you have seen that in my reading as well so um you know this uh, this is some kind of omens my dear uh, scorpios that every pain that you have endured is going to be uh, returning to you as a good karma of yours okay you keep doing you uh, go out to the nature uh, you know uh, do meditation there walk in barefoot and uh, you know keep accepting the truth to yourself if you lose the direction somewhere stand in front of the mirror talk to the mirror talk to yourself you will see the light within you don't depend on anyone anyone detach from everyone and just just uh, you know vibe in your soul energy okay in your soul energy and let's see what the tarot card has to say you know the please divine give me the message that scorpios need to hear you know honestly speaking while i am doing this reading i am getting to um uh, i am actually seeing my um energy as well you know uh, like kind of i am vibing the kind of energy that i am vibing right now you know this two cards just jumped out you saw me right <clears throat> and see i happen to see this card um lots of heartache right i told you you have been uh, going through a lot of heartache and seven of wands and uh, three of swords and seven of wands if you add this two it adds up to um 10 right and 10 is a completion so something is coming to an end and after 10 if you remove the zero it leaves to one one with the source you are finally getting into union with the source now source is going to uh, play some kind of magic through you you know some kind of magic through you okay just believe in yourself all the heartache and the pain the indecisive kind of nature that you have been stuck not able to see all this kind of nature all this kind of an energy that you were vibing in it is going to go out of your life all right you don't need to hang in there with that seven of swords uh, sorry seven of wands kind of energy you know guarding no you don't have to you know it is not necessary that whatever happened in the past is going to happen again all right a universe has your back i truly don't see this card as a third party absolutely not this is a truly you know a uh, kind of an energy like heart body mind soul kind of an energy you see heart body mind soul or you can represent this woman as body this cup as a heart this cup as a heart uh, this cup as a mind this cup as a heart and this cup as a soul you know you know together you are just tampering that you are just meeting the source period you are just uh, pay attention to you see <laughs> I wanted to say pay attention to your random thoughts and that's when this uh, card jumped out. What I want to tell you is that you will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity. The moment I read this card, you might have observed a fluctuation again. The electricity came back. Now, this is a wonderful uh, sign and synchronicities. And look at this. Uh, my candle also finished off. And what I would like to tell you is that, my dear beautiful Scorpios, in this one reading, today I told you that I'm really, really going through a lot of um, uh, downloads, a lot of energy shift within me. And uh, even though I generally don't do readings in the daytime because of the noise from the surroundings, I always try to do the readings when everybody has gone to sleep. Uh, but today I'm doing, doing this reading, uh, you know, <clears throat> uh, I am just uh, going through the downloads, the nudges that I'm getting. And you saw that the light came back 
and my candle blew off and I had to uh, burn a new candle, right? This is a no man for you, my dear beautiful Scorpios. This is an ultimate confirmation for you from the universe that uh, keep dreaming, keep dreaming without navigating or directing your thoughts. Keep dreaming. Each and every dream that you are going to have right now, the premonitions, the visions, you know, everything is going to come out to be true you know come out to be true just believe in yourself that's why i'm telling you when you believe in yourself and you know who you truly are and you admit your truth to yourself and you come into that power you know universe will always always bring this tranquility within you in your heart body mind soul for which you don't have to guard guard yourself any longer all right and when you daydream everything you have the power within you to manifest anything and everything and recently trust me my dear beautiful scorpions uh, i generally don't keep on sitting there and thinking about my dm all the time absolutely not i pay more attention to what the divine is telling me i write it down and i start working on it but for the last uh, 10 days it's like I cannot just come out of this energy of thinking about my divine masculine and, um, you know, uh, kind of concern about him, daydreaming, uh, thinking about this and that. And somehow I felt so pulled uh, that I felt like, yeah, something like this, you know, there is me who is just tempering that cup, you know, feeling that soul energy and I am coming out to be somebody else, you know. I don't know if you are really feeling that, my dear beautiful Scorpios. Trust me, I am really, really bringing out the entire energy within me onto this reading. And I I truly feel that, you know, I'm connecting to a collective of Scorpios, all right? So <clears throat> please take whatever resonates for you. This is your reading. Please go out to the nature. Believe in the divine. Every negative energy is going to end right now into your life, which will bring a new cycle into your life, which will have a lot of abundance, uh, wealth, health, happiness, joy. And that will be through that will be done uh, through your uh, you will be getting the confirmations through your dream state of mind all right so daydream you 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 don't have to go to somebody and justify that right you just daydream and you will feel trust me my dear beautiful scorpios you will feel so so soothing so much of peace within you know when you daydream you know your perception change you you become more creative you know you will be proud of yourself all right so be Feel proud of yourself, okay? All right. So, Scorpios, this is your reading. Please take every signs and synchronicities as an omen for this reading. And I thank you all for tuning into my channel. If you are liking to what I'm doing, your one subscription can be a big help to me. So, please do like, share, and subscribe. I thank you all for tuning in. I bless you all. Om Namah Shivai. Om Namah Shivai. Om Namah Shivai. Stay blessed.